here at the seven must have photoshop action or portrait photographers or retoucher must have and i use this action to retouch all my images and the best part is i'll be giving away these seven actions for free to get the action i'll be leaving the link in the description below where you can download those actions the first action i'm going to talk about is this stainless focus separation action right here so after you download the action for free the first thing you have to do is come to your windows and come to your action and just click on action like this and the action is going to load up so to use request separation first of all duplicate your live by pressing on ctrl j and just click on this stainless request separation so once you click on it it's going to run the action like this and just put any gaussian blur radius you want to use to retouch a particular image for this particular image i'm going to be using a radius of about 10 for this image and just click on ok so once you load the action inside that stainless visual action you are going to see your high texture copy you're going to see high texture you're going to see this brush here layer which is an empty layer and also you're going to see this low focus which consists of the colors so this my action right here is similar to this retouching let me focus separation action right here so i made it similar to this focus separation action so it will be easy for you to use and this action right here is a non-destructive focus separation action so to use this stainless focus separation action if you want to remove blemishes from your image just come to use your high focus texture copy right here which is this first one right here and just make sure your close down tool is selected from your toolbar and just press alternate on your keyboard to sample from a close by area like this and just paint over the blemishes you want to remove to remove that blemishes like that so this is the before and this is the after so that's how you can use this focus separation to remove blemishes and also if you want to use the mixer brush make sure this brush here layer is selected and just pick your mixer brush too and for my mixer brush settings make sure this place right here is selected and for my wet i'm using 20 my load i'm using 30 my mix is a 26 but you can use whichever mix you want mix doesn't really matter because this place is all transparent why for the flow you can use 20 percent because my flow is on 20 percent and make sure sample all layer is selected and once again mr brush is right just come back to your layer right here make sure your brush here is selected and just hide this your high frequency so just hide it and just brush on the highlight separately brush on the middle separately and just brush within the transition of the highlights and the shadows like that just to smoothen out the um, colors on this image so let me just briefly before after of what i just did with that so if i zoom in you can see the before and the after the before and the after so that's how you can use this thinness frequency separation action so i'm just going to delete that action and the second action or portrait photographer and retoucher must have is the dodge upon action because this action just make your workflow faster so you need to have those actions so this dodge upon action right here i'm just going to click on the dodge upon action and it's just going to load and inside this action i have my bone curve i have my dodge curve you can use this dodge and bone action to do your micro dodge and bone your creative dodge and bone or your global dodge and bone and you're going to have this action inside the thinness photoshop action bundle so once you load your dodge and bone action just pick your normal brush tool if you want to use it for global dodge and bone just make sure your dodge first is selected and just paint on the highlight so this is how i do my global dodge and bone i'm going to take my flow to 100 percent and just put some lights on the highlights like that and do the same thing for the bone put some lights on the shadows like that for the bone so this is how i do my own global dodge and bone and after that i'm just going to come to my feather on that properties with an mask selected you're going to see your feather so just click on your feather and just feather it a little bit to hide that effect and also do the same thing for the bone i'm just going to feather it like this and i'll finish the before and after of that so this is the before and this is the after you can see the global dodge and bone right here this is the before and this is the after so that's how you can use this dodge and bone action inside that bundle and the third action all portrait photographers and retoucher should have is this eyes and teeth whitening action right here so once you load this action you're going to see eyes and teeth whitening so just click on it i'm just going to load that action and once you load that action you're going to see a black layer mask just make sure the black layer mask is selected pick your normal brush tool take your flow to 100 or possibly 100 and just zoom in and just paint on only the white part of the eyes like this remember don't paint on the black part of the eyes just paint on only the white part of the eyes and do the same thing for these other eyes and you can do the same thing for the teeth as well not take this image as teeth but you can do the same thing for the teeth and it's going to work like that okay now next i'm going to do i'm just going to cut my properties again and just click on feather and just feather it like this a little bit and if you feel it's too much you can just take the opacity down like that i like i like the crease my opacity i do that a lot so just take it down because i want my image to look as natural as possible so that's how you can use the eyes that it's whitening action from this stainless visual action bundle so i'm going to delete this action and just show you 
the fourth action all portrait photographers architecture should have is the color correction action. With this color correction action, let's say you are touching an image and the face and the body are different. You can use color correction action to easily match the colors of the face and the body just to make the colors uniform. And to use that action, just come to this color correction right here and just click on it. And it's going to load that action. And inside the action, just make sure your gradient is selected. Once the gradient is selected and not the layer mask, just come to these properties when the gradient is selected. Click on the gradient right here. And you're going to see this menu right here. So right here, we have our shadows, we have our metals, and we have our highlights. So what I try to do, I try to match the colors of the metals, highlight, and shadow just to even out the color. So click on this place right here. Once you click on this, you're going to see color right here. So click on color and just sample any colors from the shadow area on the image you want to fix. So I want to sample this color right here as a shadow. I'm going to click on it and click on OK. And next thing I'm going to do for the metals, I'll click on the metals. And you can choose to click this color or just come to the image and go to see this picker tool and just sample any color you want to be the metals. So I want this place right here to be the metals. I'm going to click on it once. And the same thing for the highlight, I'll click on the highlight and just pick on any part of the image I want to be the highlight. So I want this part right here to be the highlight. I'm going to click on it once like this. And that place is going to be the highlight. So right now we have the colors of our shadows, our metals, and our highlights. And I'm going to click on OK. After you've gotten the color, now select your layer mask, pick a normal brush tool. Make sure your flow is 100, opacity is 100, and just paint on only the skin of the image. Don't paint on the eyes, don't paint on the lips. And also, if there's makeup, like you can see the makeup on the eyes right here, don't paint on the makeup on the eyes. You just paint on any part of the image you want to fix like that. I'm just going to even out the color. But since I want to fix the body, I'm just going to paint on the body for this image so you can just see the before and after of that. So make sure you're using a soft hand brush, opacity 100, flow 100 and like i said i'm giving out this action for free and if you want to download the action just check the link in the description below to download the action so you can start using this action to retouch your image and also it's going to make your workflow faster so after i on the part of the skin which i want to fix i can choose to just come to my feather and just feather it just to make the um edges smooth then i can choose to reduce the opacity like this if i want but what i'm going to do i'll just go to my blend mode change the blend mode from normal to color like this so you can see right now everything is blended but the effect is not too strong so you already guess what i'm going to do i'm going to reduce the opacity again so just come to your opacity just reduce the opacity until you feel they are matching right now so you can see the colors on the face and the skin right now are looking so much better so this is the before and this is the after if you feel it's not too much you can run this action again and just sample from the skin again and do it until you feel it's okay so that's how you can use this color correction action right here and the fifth action all portrait photographers retouch should have is this sharpen action right here so once you load that action let's say you're touching an image and you just want to quickly add sharpen to the image all you have to do is just click on this sharpen right here so once you click on it it's just going to sharpen the image for you like this and if you feel the effect is not strong enough you can just press your ctrl j to duplicate the layer or you can just click on sharpen again and apply as much sharpen as you want to your image until you feel it's looking okay and if you feel the effect is too strong with this only one you have to apply, you can just come to your opacity and reduce the opacity to reduce how strong you want the effect to be. So that's for the sharpen action. So the number six action or portrait photographer should have is this noise action right here. So for me, I like adding noise to my image after I finish touching my image, just to make the image have that uniform feel after touching the image. If I just click on this noise action right here, it's going to add noise to the image. But you can see right now the noise is too much. So all you have to do is just come to your opacity and reduce the opacity to fit the taste of the kind of image you are retouching. But if you want to add more noise to your image, just click on noise again, and it's going to add more noise to your image like that. Now the final action, which is the seventh action, I think all portrait photographers and retouchers should have, is the rich tone action. And this rich tone action, it just make your skin tone look rich and just add that contrast and depth to your image. And you can use this action if you want to start color grading your image. So to use that action, if you load the action, you are going to see this rich tone right here. So just click on the rich tune action and just going to add this rich tune to your image so you can see how the image is looking right now it added that dark feel to the image i added contrast to the image just to make the image look more contrasty and if you feel this effect is too much all you have to do is come to your opacity and reduce the opacity a little bit like this until you feel it's okay now i just use this rich tune action to make the colors of your model pop if you are working on a dark skin model so that's how you can reduce k tune so this is the before and this is the after and if I take the opacity all the way to 100, 
You can see how dark the image is looking right now. So those are the seven actions I used to retouch on my image in Photoshop. And I think all portrait photographers and editors should have those actions. That is why I'm giving out the action for free. And if you want to download that action, just check the link in the show below to download that action. And I'll be making a video on how I use this action to retouch my image from start to finish. If you want to learn how to color your image using Lightroom, Capture One, Photoshop, Camera, make sure to click on this video right here. I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay creative.